Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm going to show you how to make a custom texture to put into Hammer. Now, I'm currently working on a Christmas themed version of GM Construct from Gary's Mod 9, and this is going to be used in my A Very Pyro Christmas animation, probably. I will be releasing this map on the workshop when I'm done with it. As you can see, I have just started adding in custom textures. Now, something I've noticed is this water here disappears. So, I don't know how to fix that, but what I'm going to do is replace this with ice. And all you have to do is find a texture which fits either 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. Those are the ones I would recommend. You can use any combination, I believe, so long as they are even numbers. So, what you're going to want to do is, firstly, you're going to want to navigate to Google and you are going to want to find your texture. In this case here is the texture I'm looking for. It is advisable that you look up tileable textures as these look better. So when you save your file, save it to the desktop I would recommend, as you can see here, and what you are going to want to do is download a program called VTF Edit. I'm sorry about the microphone by the way, I probably sound a bit strange. Um, I'm not sure why, but upgrading to Windows 10 has messed this up. So what you're going to want to do when you finish downloading VTF Edit is load it up, click on File, click on Import, and you're going to want to import in your picture that you have picked for your texture. Click Open. Click OK. And wait for it to import. There you go. So now your texture is imported into VTF Editor, what you're going to want to do is firstly save a file. So click on save file, navigate to wherever your version of the game is that you're running Hammer on. In this case I'm running it on Half-Life, Half-Life 2, sorry. So you're going to want to go into HL2 in this case, click on materials, click on create a new folder if you want to. So we're going to click on new folder. I'm going to call this Christmas. Click on enter. Click on there and choose a name for your file. We're going to be going for frozen lake ice .vtf. There you go. Now before you continue what you're going to want to do is create a VMT file. Now a VMT file tells how the model should behave what it should make when you damage it, etc, etc. So click on Options, click on, oh sorry, click on Tools, click on Create VMT File, and what you're going to want to do now is pick on Options, and you're going to want to choose what material it is. So we're going for Glass, so it's going to make a glass sort of damage. And for Surface 2, uh, just to be sure, we could do Slippery Metal, I think. I think that that's might be what we're going for. We want this ice to be slippery, basically. Let me just see if I pick on snow. Yes, that's what we want. Uh, let's try glass for the other one. Let's see how that works. So click on create, and it will automatically take you to where you have saved the VTF file. You're going to want to click save, and you are done. It's that easy. So you're going to want to go back into Hammer now. And you might need to reload Hammer for this to work. You're going to want to pick the texture where you, or the place where you're going to apply your texture. Click on Browse down here in the Texture Browser. This will come up. Now type in into the filter whatever you save the folder in, or whatever the name of the texture is. So we're going to try Christmas. And there you go. So click on that. Then click on the brick. And there you go, you have a working texture. Now, I may t change this texture, but for now, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. So yeah, this has been a very quick tutorial on how to add textures into Hammer. The process is the same based on whatever game you are working with. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'm RCT3Crashes100. Over and out.